Hey everyone, it's Kayla with The Celebration Company and I've got something fun for you today. But first, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. And also be sure to check me out on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram for a lot of other fun ideas just like this one. This little birdhouse we're working on today actually is on our website, thecelebrationco.com, and it's available while supplies last, and it is so stinking adorable, and you can do so much to it. It's super versatile, so it comes with this really thick, chunky base, so it'll stand up on its own. You can use this in a tiered tray. You can use it... Um, and add it to something like a candlestick or something like that. Put it in a wreath. So many different things you can do with this, but all the pieces come apart to make it super easy for you to decorate it and um, finish it. So we're gonna start by just painting the edges of the base. I just painted the edges white. And now I'm just gonna take a pouncer and paint the front of the birdhouse white as well. And I'm not covering the whole thing. I'm actually just gonna kind of leave some of that exposed because I do want kind of an aged, old, distressed sort of a look. So um, now I'm gonna do a little bit of black right in the center. And this is just where that heart, um, where that opening is gonna show. So I just wanted to paint that black so that it would look like a hole. I like to use super glue to um, glue these pieces together. It just seems to hold a little bit better. You can also use a little bit of hot glue with it, but I use the Gorilla Super Glue Gel. It seems to work the best for me. Okay, so now we're just gonna take the uh, roof line and I am going to glue it onto um, a cookie sheet from Dollar Tree and then I just cut around it and we're just gonna wrap the edges around the roof line. And this is gonna give us sort of a galvanized tin roof look. Now before I glue the roof line on, I decided to take some burnt umber and a dry brush and I'm just going to brush across the front of the birdhouse just to give it a little bit more of an aged um, sort of raw wood or aged wood look. Now I'm gonna use more burnt umber and a pouncer and I'm just gonna pounce onto the roof line just to create an aged look so that it looks like it's been around for a while. And then I'm just hot gluing it right on to the top of the birdhouse. Now it does come with a flower and the heart and all of that and you could add that if you wanted to. You can paint them, you can do whatever you want to. I decided to leave those off. I'm adding a little bit of Excelsior or Spanish moss, maybe a little bit of both, right to the base of the hole. And then I have a bird that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm adding it. Now I'm just going in and adding some reindeer moss from Dollar Tree to the roof line, just in a few spots on the birdhouse, just to make it look like it's been around in the wilderness for a while. It's been outside for a while. It's got moss growing on it. And then I have this little flower pick that I got from Target. And there are little bitty tiny flowers on it. You can use any kind of little tiny flowers that you have. And I'm just gluing those onto the birdhouse, kind of around the moss, so it looks like they've been growing on the birdhouse. And that's really all that I'm going to do to this. It's super easy to do, but y'all, I mean, it just turns out absolutely beautiful and gorgeous. You can get this little birdhouse on our website, thecelebrationco.com. You can find it under products and then craft kits. I'll post the link in the description below. But I really appreciate you all watching. Thanks so much for following me, and I hope you have a great day.